In this presentation, we are going to find out the open circuit and short circuit impedances in terms of ABCD parameters. And uh, for this, I will first write down the set of equations we have in case of ABCD parameters. This is our equation number one and this is our equation number two. And the impedance we will first find out is open circuit input impedance. By open circuit, we mean we are going to open circuit the output port and therefore current I2 will be equal to zero. And uh, we are finding out the input impedance. That is, we are finding out the impedance when looked from these two terminals and I will represent this impedance as Z sub O i and uh, we know that Z sub O i will be equal to V1 over I1 voltage V1 divided by current I1 and the defined circuit condition is I2 should be 0 current I2 should be 0 now when we put I2 equal to 0 in equation number 1, we will have V1 equal to A V2. So in place of V1, we can write A V2. And uh, when we put I2 equal to 0 in equation number 2, we will have I1 equal to C V2. So in place of I1, we can write C V2. And therefore, we can write the impedance Z sub O i equal to A V2 divided by C V2. V2 will cancel out from the numerator and from the denominator and therefore we can finally say that the open circuit input impedance is equal to parameter A divided by parameter C. Remember this result. Now moving on to the next impedance, we will find out open circuit output impedance and uh, this time we will open circuit the input port and therefore current I1 will be equal to 0 and uh, we are finding output impedance therefore we will find out the impedance when looked from these two terminals and uh, I will uh, represent this impedance by Z sub O O. And uh, we know that this impedance Z sub O O will be equal to voltage V2 divided by current I2. V2 divided by current I2 and the defined circuit condition is current I1 should be equal to 0. Now when we put I1 equal to 0 in equation number 2 we will have 0 equal to CV2 minus DI2 and from here we can say that V2 when divided by current I2 is equal to D divided by C and V2 over I2 is equal to ZOO so our open circuit output impedance is equal to parameter D divided by parameter C remember this result now we are going to find out short circuit input impedance and uh, we will short circuit output port and therefore voltage V2 will be 0 and uh, we will find out the input impedance and I will represent the impedance by Z sub SI and the impedance will be equal to V1 over I1 when V2 is equal to 0. When you put V2 equal to 0 in equation number 1 you will have V1 equal to negative of Bi2. Therefore we can write negative of Bi2 in place of V1 and when you put V2 equal to 0 in equation number 2 you will have I1 equal to negative of DI2. Therefore we can write negative of DI2 in place of I1. So we can say that the impedance Z sub SI 
is equal to negative of b i2 divided by negative of d i2 and from here we can finally say that the short circuit input impedance is equal to parameter b divided by parameter d now moving on to the final impedance which is short circuit output impedance we will short circuit the input port therefore v1 will be zero and we will find out the output impedance and i will represent the impedance by z sub s o and finding out z sub s o is the homework problem for you this is the homework problem for you once you have your answer post it in comment section i will end this lecture here see you in the next one